Hello friends and welcome to another episode of I Logs. This is a very interesting one because there is work from home, school from home. On a daily basis, I get lots of complaints from parents that children are looking at the screen for many many more hours. Obviously, because of this COVID times, you have exposure to television, you have mobiles, you have iPads and you have computer. So does this really affect your eye is what this whole episode is about. Welcome back friends. I am Dr. Kumar Doctor from Dr. Eye Institute. If you are new to this channel called Eye Logs, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that every time i release a new video you get a notification today's topic entirely is to do with exposure to screen time daily i get lots of patients really worried and panicking about it. the most frequently asked question is my child is all day on the ipad attending the school and because of that his number has increased as i mentioned this episode is going to clear fiction and facts so watching the ipad 8 hours because of schooling does it really increase your number or your glass number or your refractive error goes up it's fiction in reality it really doesn't affect your number i know you all parents are going to hate me for this but scientifically this is a truth there's one more myth i'm going to give my child carrot every day he must have a glass of carrot juice on a daily basis and i'm sure the number of my child is going to disappear because he's having carrot juices is this a fact or fiction in reality it is fiction the fact is carrot is a form of vitamin a which is good for the health of your retina so it really has no impact on the number of your child or the refractive error or the glasses the next most frequently asked question is all the time he's lying down and studying and because he's lying down and reading his number has gone up is this a fact or fiction believe me friends it's fiction so each of these points i'm going to further clarify the next most fear thought that parents have is that because of increased exposure to screen time is there any radiation emitted out of these devices like the computer the mobile the ipad this is fiction there is no radiation actually emitted out of these devices which actually have an impact on your glass number so because of increased screen time does radiation which is emitted out really have any impact the answer is no there is no radiation coming out of these devices but there is something else which i'm going to discuss in this entire episode so all these questions which were mentioned will be now dealt with in depth school from home this is the new normal so 8 hours of watching the screen what does it really do to your eyes believe me friends it is a fact it is called computer vision syndrome so what really happens is when we talk to each other my eyes are actually blinking 22 times a minute but when we are concentrating on a computer or a screen or a device your blink rate goes down to 7 per minute so what does this really do very simple friends it impacts your eye health in forms of the tear so it causes something called as dry eyes and this is called computer vision syndrome the solution to this is very simple we tell all of our patients that once in a while concentrate to close your eyes when you're watching the screen and open so that spreads your tear film well concentrate that after every 20 minutes you can put palms on your eyes and massage your eyes so that will help further gives a little rest and all of this will prevent the dry eye formation because of staring at the screen for a long time and that in reality is called computer vision syndrome 
the next topic for today was lying down and reading we get this complaint on a daily basis so what really happens when you lie down and read two things the light is behind you your shadow comes on the book so there is an element of strain when you lie down and read the books are heavy you're holding on to the book your arms get tired so important thing i get questioned on a daily basis is what is the right light to read is it 100 watts is it 40 watts is it 60 watts technically scientifically a 60 watt bulb is enough light to read it's not that when you read with a 100 watt bulb you're going to get a distinction so that's not what's going to happen but remember the light should be in front of you it should not come from behind you so that your shadow does not fall on the book when you read and the summary is sit and read so that the light immediately falls on the book and there is no shadow coming on to the book so today's main part was screen time is there any radiation emitted out of these devices the answer is no so what really happens all these devices have a specific light called the blue light which we are exposed to when we are watching television ipads computers and mobile there is something in the electromagnetic spectrum called as the visible light the lower end of the visible light is the blue light beyond the blue light is the infrared light which is the invisible spectrum on the other end of the visible spectrum is x rays or gamma radiation which is again not visible to us as human beings so what is the impact of blue light to our eye health or to our sleep pattern yes friends you did hear this wrong i said sleep pattern so there is a proof that this blue light affects the melatonin in your brain the melatonin is responsible for a good sleep pattern if melatonin is affected then your sleep pattern can be disturbed don't be shocked but this is the truth and there is enough scientific evidence to prove the same blue light is a bright light and that's why it is used in devices like televisions mobiles laptops because it's very visible to the human eye blue light inhibits production of melatonin in the body if your melatonin levels in the body are low it has various other impacts it can cause depression it can cause obesity it can cause heart diseases and don't forget that melatonin is an oxidant so having oxidants has its own benefit because it is proven that melatonin affects our sleep pattern it is advised that we do not use our devices 2 to 3 hours before our sleep time and that's the reason why friends don't forget if you see the software on the new apple phone it has got something called as the night mode what really does the night mode do it just softens the amount of brightness on your screen and that's really the essential part of watching devices at night Melatonin is essential for sleep just like a healthy diet and a good exercise this is a fact so now we come to the last topic of blue light blocking glasses and how do they really work do we really benefit and are they really essential so do these blue light glasses really help is it a fact or fiction yes the blue light glasses do really help So friends I hope this episode has cleared all your myths about radiation blue light all these devices that we are exposed to right now on a daily basis feel free to make comments in the box below and we can clear all the doubts that you ever had in your mind until my next video stay safe and well